Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a question which literally only a genius could figure it out. Okay, because there was one slight uh, step which lot of people did not it did not click to lot of people. Okay, before we begin with this question, first very important thing is that here they have mentioned that x and y both are positive integers. Okay. So now here first let's look at this thing which is given to us. Okay, so let's write it in the next page itself. So we have x plus xy plus y equals to 76. So now what we can do over here is the first step what we can do is we'll take x common. We're left with what 1 plus y plus y equals to 76. Now after this we get stuck. Because we are not able to do anything on this case, okay? And especially in a scenario when there is just one equation given and we need to find two equations. So that gets a bit tricky for us. So in this kind of a scenario, what you should do is we'll try and add one on both sides. So basically now your question changed to what x common from y plus 1, sorry 1 plus y. And here we have again 1 plus y equals to 77 okay next what we can do over here is see we can take x 1 plus y common so let's do that 1 plus y and then i'm left with what x plus 1 equals to 77 now after this we can't do much it's basically a dead end okay so please understand since they have also told us that x and y both are what positive integers so we are going to make use of this particular knowledge now see understand either 77 can be written as 7 into 11 or it can be written as 77 into 1 okay but after this we can't factorize 77 in such a way that we'll get positive integers as the product okay it can get into decimals and everything so now from here, if we take this particular value, so we can say either 1 plus y is what 77 and 1 plus x is what 1. So from here, I can say one, x is what 0 and I want x and y both of them to be positive integers. So and 0 is neither positive nor negative. So from this, we can discard this particular scenario. Okay, so all of this goes for a toss. So only option left for us is this one. So from here I can say that 1 plus y equals to 7 and 1 plus x equals to 11. See order doesn't matter for us because we need to find addition of x plus y. So it doesn't matter which is what. Okay, we don't need the exact value. So y is 7. Sorry, y is not 7. It is 6 and x is what? 10. So from here I can say therefore x plus y equals to 10 plus 6 which comes down to 16. Okay. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.